guys, I'm Natalie Wilson, I'm from Down Under, and I'm just going to show you with you my real little stitch. I just want to do a quick one. So here we go. And the subject that I'm talking about today is um, the age-old question, who do you like? So like, <laughs> we were in class, <laughs> and he was like, hair, and I was like, there. We were like, hair there, <laughs> together, hair <"Hair>, there. <laughs> and like, <laughs> he was like, look at me. And then soon, we looked away. <laughs> and then we were like, look at him. And seriously, look away before he looked at me again. We were like, looking, but we weren't looking at the same time. <laughs> like, together forever. <laughs> and like, it was pretty much love at first sight. Except he looked at me first, I looked at him second. So I guess you could say it was love at second sight, but that's not the point. The point is. There's one time I accidentally purpose looked at him when he was looking at me and it was like BAM! O. M. G. Heart. Pounding. Smile. Cracking. Eyes. Blinking. And I just had to ask him, Who do you like? <laughs> You're lying if you say you never heard. Ask or answer this question. To some, it's the last question they would ever want to be asked, let alone answer. But to others, it's the one question that could make or break their heart. And then there's the scumbags who just have to know so they can sit around like a big tub of margarine. So why is that question so important? For example, when a bunch of girls get together for a sleepover, guys, it's just about the only thing they can talk about. But when a bunch of guys see a hot babe, their next ambition in life is to get a number before his name and hope and pray it's not a telephone. So what? Why are those four words so important? So significant? So intriguing? So alone? So dreaded? I have absolutely no idea, but I do know that when you get asked, who do you like? <laughs> you either blush. <laughs> Giggle, <laughs> smile, <laughs> pause, check it out, <laughs> tease the asker, <laughs> or change the subject entirely. On a serious point though, one thing I really hate these days is some people change who they like almost every single day. It seems so shallow. They think you're in love because some hot stranger walks by. I mean, do you think they found the one, one minute, and that they're in deeply in love, one minute, and then the next minute, they're off that person and on to a new one, in a blink of an eye, like a fly, going from cow cat to cow cat. They land, do their thing, and as soon as they finish on board, they leave. So why? What's the point? Why fall so fast, so far, so hard for someone? When you can save your heart from hurricane blows until you really know. Whew, getting a tad deep there on a light note. I'm sure some of you people out there are dreading the day when the one man you love comes up to you and says, Who do you like? Well, never fear. Natalie is here to give you some top tips on what to do in that dire situation. Tip number one. Just man up. Get it off your chest and get them off your back. You'll feel relieved and calm. And that's the end of Natalie's top tips. Any questions? No, great. But I have one last question for you. Who do you like? <laughs> yeah, that's my speech. Hope you liked it. <laughs>